I would suspect most have heard the old adage, adversity doesn't build character, it reveals it. It's easy to say, easy to affirm, but let's be honest, much more difficult when the storms of life come along to live it, right? But people do it. Somehow, some way, they find the guts to, as I like to say, whenever given a pep talk, refuse to become a victim of circumstance, instead choose to become a student of experience. That is certainly Felissa Zollinger's story. Gary, her darling and devoted husband, died way too young from a rare form of lung cancer. An active and fit husband, father and grandpa, the energy executive developed a violent hacking cough in his 56th year. Doctors first thought it might be an asthmatic condition. Sadly, it was cancer. By the time of diagnosis, it was already stage four. That's a sad and familiar story for too many lung cancer patients. The diagnosis comes way too late. Gary fought a brave fight after conventional treatments proved ineffective. The non-smoker underwent a radical double lung transplant. The surgery was successful, but tragically, 10 months later, severe back pain had Gary back in the doctor's office. The news was not good. Cancer had returned to his spine. Gary Zollinger died six months later. Married 30 years, the couple made Gary's final days quite productive. The Zollingers started an endowment to fund research to develop an early detection test. According to the Lung Cancer Alliance, funding dollars for lung cancer research are 1 20th of those for breast cancer, despite the fact each year, three times as many people die in Colorado from lung cancer than breast cancer. I spent a few hours with Felissa and marveled at her passion and determination to raise money and awareness. She achieves each with an annual The Gift of Life and Breath 5K Walk and Run. This year, it's May 15th. Join us, will you? You can find more info at www.thegiftoflifeandbreath.com. I'm in to honor my father. He died of lung cancer in 2007. When doctors discovered his tumor, it was stage four as well and too late. Lung cancer took my father and Phyllis's husband way too early. I know you have similar stories. Who hasn't been touched by cancer's devastating effects? Today, although it's early in development, there is hope, thanks to Phyllis's crusade. Research is focusing on biomarkers as a possible means to catch lung cancer before it's too late. Progress has emerged from Phyllis's pain. Somewhere from above, you know her husband's looking down and shouting, you go, girl. This amazing woman has chosen to become a student, not victim of her experience. Progress from pain, a lesson we should all take to heart. If you'd like to sign up for the Pep Talk email newsletter, it is really easy to do. Just go to my website, heycomebackcoach.com. On the homepage, upper right-hand corner, just type in your email address and you'll receive a new Pep Talk each Sunday afternoon. Now, while on the site, if you click on books, You'll find my three efforts. Any of them might be just what the doctor ordered for yourself, a loved one, or somebody else who might need a little encouragement right now to effectively deal with change, challenge, and adversity.